I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. Hello, cultists, and welcome back to what it will be likely the last episode of Slay the Princess. When we laugh and stuff, we actually <laughs> free the princess, we became a dashing hero, and we fell deeply in love with the princess. We took her out of the cabin, and we offered that new perspective to the entity at the end of the world. After that, uh, she told us actually that, that we just need one more perspective, and both she and us will know what we are. So that's what I'm thinking, this will be the last one. So today we're going to go and finish the story. Hopefully you are going to enjoy it, if that's the case. Please give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment to, with your opinion of the series. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the, the new cycle. So I don't know what, to, what else to do. Perhaps just kill her? Whatever we do, we will just go and kill her. Mm, none of the, the options like I like, so let's suddenly continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Proceed to it, get the blade and no the nonsense. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I'll need the blade to kill her. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah. Ah. Uh... I guess if I kill her, we're gonna go back to the base, to the, the Spectre. But what happens if we kill the Spectre, you know? Let's see. You Let's take, take the, the blade. blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. And enter the basement. Man, it's gonna be fucked up if the last the gift... The basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yep, I was saying that it's gonna be a little bit fucked up that the last gift that we bring to to her, the entity is gonna be uh, the princess being killed over and over and over again. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost I've been this before, so down here. I'm gonna be skipping a little bit of here. Don't let you step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm gonna regret this. I know that it will. Oh, no talking, man. Fine. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Oh, man. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Let's check for a pulse. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. We definitely won't if you keep talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? This is weird. Wait, what was that? Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat, followed by another, a and another. But we first... Or hard, right? Yes, I, I won't be dying alone after all. Oh, fuck me. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. 
Uh, we fucked up in this one. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. Man. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. I guess. See you around. Wait, what? You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. Yep. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2. The Eraser. What? <laughs> But I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Yeah, we have been here before. If doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, the new boys, right. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Oh no, that's a uh, really bad boys. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Ha, huh, you're yeah, right. That's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. <laughs> Calm down, I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Let's go to the cabin. Yeah, let's go. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Okay, okay, okay. Can't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. <laughs> we know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused, and you'll be fine. Let's see. Was into the cavern. Man, I really want now to take the blade out of her. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. And the aesthetic changed so much. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Damn. He's getting back for a vengeance. Sent in the basement. This is not going to be easy. I'm sure of it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Rhythmic. Metallic scraping. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something. I told you. <laughs> that sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her hmm. grating voice carries up the stairs. Oh, how will she sound like? I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yes. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. <laughs> As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. 
Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Yeah, Come right. On now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Yeah. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Okay, so we have a couple options here. Uh, of course, we can go, just go straight to slay her. But... This one looks interesting. What if we're both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world. And you killed me last time after, coming back from being stabbed in the heart. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Yeah, right. Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, All right. The two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. Yes. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. <laughs> we can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yeah. Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time <laughs> travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. <laughs> okay, uh, I haven't done this one before, so let's slay her. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. Okay. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Who's what? meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. What? Then yours. Okay. What? He. <laughs> what? What did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest, and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. He was armed. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Whoa, that's... Bullshit. Oh. Absolute <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. You're going to die now. I guess. A twist of her knee and a painful squelch. She does just that. Everything goes dark. And you die. She actually killed me. Alright. The arms race. What? <laughs> Chapter three. three. In the woods. No. Fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. <laughs> what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? Fuck. I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? <laughs> the circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Oh, it's up the hunted, what? Good. It's better that way. Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. Oh, it's up the stubborn... Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? So obviously you've already been here. How many times? Apparently four? This is our third? Yeah, but we have two voices now. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? Now we know. That can't be right, that's too much responsibility. <laughs> nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? We have no door, we just have the mirror. The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched, we take it. 
Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. <laughs> this feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. What is the lore? The fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. <laughs> I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? Oh. There isn't a door, there's just that mirror. He just knows mirrors. There isn't a mirror. You really he doesn't look at mirrors. It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Hmm. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to break, to break a mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Ooh. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And Good the end. mirror's gone. Ah, surprising. <laughs> it was never there. Just an illusion. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. <laughs> Guess it's time for us to see her again. And but she she put a blade out of her tie, just so what the stay hell? Focused and you'll be fine. This is not gonna end you well. Step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth <laughs> and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Oh, fuck me. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Oh, shit. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. <laughs> She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride <laughs> makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Oh, let's nothing see. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Exactly. Bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. Uh, the past isn't real. There's only here and now. I went to kill her. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. What the flying fuck, man? She's... She's like a... Sh <laughs> this reminds me of like, I don't know, like Chainsaw Man or something. She's loose. And she is coming for you. Okay, we need to... We need to survive this one. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Um... Shit. <laughs> She's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. Same here. She has swords for arms, and we don't. We are panicking. Panicking is the worst possible <laughs> thing for us to do. <laughs> and panic where? Up the slide that dropped us down here. She's getting Is closer. No. I'm coming to get you. Oh shit. There's no way out. This is so fucked up, and man. Screw it. We're panicking. Yeah, we're panicking. But unsurprisingly. Panicking doesn't save you from her blades. She skewers you. Skewers you. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Sorry about that. I gave into a bit of a fear response there, and I don't think it was very helpful. <laughs> Wait, was the paranoid. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... 
No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? We're dead, aren't we? We're dead, dead. How long have we been dead? Have we been dead the whole time? <laughs> dead, 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 dead. This is the Brock in the what? Dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. <laughs> no wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Shit. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. I don't, we don't think need so. Any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Man. Yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> as long as we keep moving, it's going to get so loud in here. How are we going to keep it all straight? I got no idea. Come on, show me something new. Shit. We're going to fight her again, and we are going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. It doesn't work, and she kills you again and again and again and again. <laughs> your memory blurs as, you can, as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. Hold again. Us, you. Ugh. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. <laughs> well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. I don't think so. And then you skewer yourself. <laughs> I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Ooh, the contouring is back. What's the point? It's all the same. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to die over and over and over again. And she has more blades now. What the? F oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. It doesn't matter how many times this takes. We can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. Ah, come on, Smitten. Excuse you. <laughs> of course. You're cute. Oh, thanks. See? We're getting better. No, okay. we're not getting better. Okay, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. The opportunist. Excuse you. We're getting close to something, can't you feel it? One last time. Let's go. Right. One last time, that's all we need. None of this is working. Think. Think. Ooh, skeptic. Skewers you. <laughs> and then everything goes dark, and you die. You die. Crap. Chapter Oh, up to four. Mutually assured destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. <laughs> Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Or oh, yeah. Oh, what if we throw it out the window? I'm trying to no, we already did that, no. Over my dead body. <laughs> that won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? Meeting stop it. Sure, I can think of a better way to die. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same, really. How yeah. about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally <laughs> manifest anything. <laughs> the only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. 
Oh boy. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them. Ooh, sassy. Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Uh, the pros. We have died like seven times now. Operator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter <laughs> with our star-crossed lover. Damn it. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We, we know. <laughs> Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Oh, I'm getting sad for the narrator. He's been outstaged. I don't care. Just want to win. <laughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. Uh. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good, even. I like that. Oh, man. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Let's see it. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just gonna show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> that writer is so pissed off. Are you gonna say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? You're being an asshole, narrator. Come on. Yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Oh. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. What the fuck did we do? Are you ready for what comes next? I'm not, but... Holy shit! <laughs> yeah! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Smitten, what the fuck, man? You're just a simp. Yes, behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? <laughs> I would like to try that. That looked painful. Yes. How is she still alive? The heart. Heart's still beating. That's all she needs. This yeah. Is fake. This is all. Fake, that's all, just made up. Paranoid. She no. doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. Uh, broken. I, I mean, me too, but we, we'll still need to continue. And uh, we just need to stab the heart. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Ah, oh, come on, cheated. Come on. What just happened? It's so quiet. We clear our mind. The narrator, too? I guess. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. You do not act, and yet through that inaction your body moves on its own. The princess strikes you as you approach, but as her blow finishes his arc, you are already somewhere else. You're incredible. Thank you. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. 
It is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the ties back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum ball is between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of vol volition, and her strikes them. Both strikes are little. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is good. This is a good ending. And she's taking. Alright! But I'm dying. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It is time for you to leave. Memory returns. Let's approach the mirror. This should be the last time that we have to feed something to her. Do you do so? Gaze into your reflection. Let's see ourselves now. Silence as you read towards the glass. It's time for you to see what is in it. Wait, what? You're nothing at all. What's going on? But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadows, just beyond the reflection. Are you... me? I think you know what I am. Death. Wait, narrator? A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into a jagged shards of broken glass. What? <laughs> What the hell is going on? Okay, I need some answers. So, you are the narrator. I was wondering if I'll ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. If you're not me, then what are you? I'm an Echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. Okay, I'm running out of questions. What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Whoa, 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 what? So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. So you are the shard of glass that she was talking about when she was inside me. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. So many questions, and I think I might not be won't be able to answer them all. How did you die? I killed myself. It had to be done, really. None of this would have worked if I was still alive. Nobody living could know about her. There are so many options here, holy shit. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. 
to rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. Once destroyed. Okay, transformation being that. Okay, on the soon. Ah. If I destroy her, how is that existence any better than death? Or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing, either. It's so, so incredibly weird. Besides, anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. Living is part of living, right? So, it's just like a natural thing to happen. <sighs> Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. So it was my choosing. What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? It wouldn't work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually she would find a way to leave. And then everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. And until then, the clock ticks on. Okay, we got two more questions. Ah, this is stressing me as... Ah, I don't know what else to do, I mean... I'm pretty sure that is good, actually. Important, even. If that's your belief. There's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you can't grasp the abject horror of dying. Shit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. I've said my piece, and my time is up. Sorry. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Yes. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Do you know about the echo? Do, do you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Very notion of change. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. 
So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Yes, I'm the only one keeping her here, because I'm the one quiet. Man, this is so amazing. Okay, so... So far we have two options. The possibility to either follow the echo of the narrator and... Very well plays here Slay the Princess, which is the very incarnation of change. Or we can just love her out of... Let's... For again, think of ourselves. And pretty much have the world end at some point in a distant time. I mean, that is part of life, and she's right. If without that, there is no meaning. Because everything will be eternal and nothing will matter. So I am all for change in this regard. So, saying that, I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Oh, because we both have a piece, you know, I... She has a piece of me, right? Yeah. So, oh, she's probably going to... Assimilate me in some regard? Free myself. Fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, the twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. I love you. Take her hand. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. Music. What? <laughs> You're free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that is that simply is. What happens now? Like it always has been, and just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. Man! <laughs> Alright! Didn't believe that I was going to see the credits on this one so soon. Okay. I'm still trying to gather my thoughts about it. So... Okay. I think I'm going to watch the... Uh, the credits, gonna completely finish this, and after that... I'm gonna try to get a sense of the story and give you my final thoughts on it. Man, what an incredible adventure, holy shit. <laughs> 
I mean, since episode one, I've been thinking that this game has so much to cover and so much potential. And now that I get, got at least one definitive ending about the story and the, the, the thing that they're trying to say here. Man. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. It's fantastic. The stories, the story, the music, the designs, the... Everything about this game is... I've seen things calling it a hidden gem, and I will... I'll have to wholeheartedly agree that this game... It's an experience on its own. And if you haven't played it and if you enjoyed the, the playthrough of whatever I was able to find here... Man, you really need to treat yourself and play this, this thing. It's amazing. So, what I gather of the story is that, of course, we were in the woods, in the woods is a cabin, and the cabin is a basement, and the basement is a, is a princess, and we need to slay her. But it was much more than that. Our narrator was actually someone that died and had a hidden shard of whatever he was on ourselves. And he was trying to actually stop the concept of change to get out of there, of the, I don't know, the boy, the whatever was the that thing at the end. And actually what he was saying was right. Uh, we were preventing the end of the world as we were preventing change to occur. That's really, really good storytelling right there. When the first line is right all along. <laughs> Man. So, and the design of the game, for, I can, for what I was able to gather, there are of course many, many more things that I missed to do. But the thing was, of course, you were feeding the concept of change, like trying to recreate it, to, to nurture it back to whatever it was be before. And through that, you also discovered that you were something else. You were actually... I don't know, if she was changed, you were, like, everything else. <laughs> and it was it was kind of cool, the, the ending that we got there, where together we escape of whatever our character was, and brought change and everything as it should be to the world. The, 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 the idea of the narrator stopping change just because he was... I don't want to say... Her, he was opposed to, to death instead of perhaps scared. I don't think he was scared of death. But he was opposed to it, to change, and he wanted to spare everyone that fate. By, in, in the case, I have to agree with the, the princess at the end that without that, there is no meaning, and without meaning, there is really nothing to it, right? So, I I'm okay that we were able to get her out of there and without change, bringing change to everything. Man, it's such, like, it's such like a deep story hitting into a silly game of killing a princess in a basement. <laughs> but that's the... I don't know, that's stupid. It's gonna sound stupid, but that's the beauty of games, you know? It lets you through something interactive and somewhat... Uh, childlike to explore concepts that you wouldn't normally do like if you wanted to think about the meaning of, of the life and death and all that you wouldn't have to read a book of probably i don't know uh <laughs> philosophy or something but you here can actually play it and think it or have it like picked up apart as much enough to for me for a dumbass like me to understand it I mean, I have said this before, but if you want to play this, do it. If you want to give it a try and see what everything else that I missed, try, do it. I I will wholeheartedly agree that you have to play this game because I loved it. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> with that, I think that's everything from my end in this here in this series. For, I will. Perhaps try to play it on my own for a while, see whatever, whatever, what other endings and things can I get from 
from this game. But that's, like I said, the end for me here. So I want to, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being so awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.